in the heart of a small village nestled between rolling hills and lush forests, lived a humble and kind-hearted man named Rylan. Rylan wasn't famous, nor did he possess great wealth or power. He was an unassuming farmer who tended to his fields with love and dedication. What set Rylan apart was his unwavering commitment to helping those in need, quietly touching lives in the most profound ways. One summer, a severe drought swept across the village, leaving the crops withered and hopes dimmed. The villagers gathered. Worried about the impending famine, Rylan, however, didn't lose hope. With a heart full of compassion, he opened his granaries and invited everyone to share his limited food supply. We will find a way to get through this together, he assured them. News of Rylan's kindness spread through the village like wildfire. Despite his own meager resources, he continued to share what he had making sure that no one went hungry. His actions inspired others to do the same. Soon, a spirit of unity and selflessness pervaded the village as neighbors helped each other through the tough times. Word of this extraordinary village reached the ears of a traveling merchant named Elara. Intrigued, she decided to visit the village and witness its exceptional camaraderie firsthand. Elara was a woman of great wisdom, having traveled far and wide, learning from different cultures and people. She was searching for a place that embodied her belief that true success was not measured by accolades, but by the lives one touched. As she walked through the village, Elara was captivated by the kindness and genuine care the villagers displayed towards one another. She saw children sharing their toys. Adults helping each other repair houses. And a sense of harmony that was rare in the world she knew. Curious to learn more, Elara sought out Rylan, the man at the center of this remarkable community. She found him working in his fields. Sweat on his brow but a smile on his face. Rylan welcomed her with open arms and shared his philosophy of life. True success, he said is not about the trophies we collect or the riches we amass. It's about the lives we touch and the love we sow. When you care for others, you create a legacy that goes beyond material gains. Elara was deeply moved by Ryland's words and the embodiment of his philosophy in the village's way of life. She realized that she had finally found what she had been searching for, a place where true Success was measured by the impact on hearts, not by external recognition. Touched by the experience, Elara decided to contribute to the village in her own way. She shared stories from her travels, taught new skills, and helped establish better trade routes for the villagers. Through her actions, she became a part of the village's fabric, further enriching the lives of its inhabitants. Years passed. And the village continued to thrive, not because of grand achievements or fame, but because of the genuine connections and care that bound its people together. Ryland's legacy lived on through each life he had touched, and Elara found a true sense of purpose in the lives she had enriched. The story of the village and its remarkable inhabitants spread far and wide inspiring countless others to shift their perspective on success. People began to realize that the ripples of kindness and compassion extended far beyond their immediate actions, shaping a better world for everyone. And so, the lesson endured. True success is not measured by accolades but by the lives we touch. In a village forgotten by the maps of the world, Rylan and his community had etched an indelible mark on the hearts of all who had the privilege to know their story.